Hey everyone, tonight we're going to be doing a Hilary Duff Reach Out Makeup Look. It's inspired again, <clears throat> it's never bang on because it's hard to see on video stills, but I hope you enjoy it. It's a really nice smoky look and I'm going to show you how I did this. And first I'm going to start with some, actually I haven't already primed my eye, <clears throat> sorry i got a frog, I've been fine all night till I come on here. First of all I've done my whole face with a foundation foundation, blush, contour and a bit of highlight. I haven't on this side because I'm going to show you what to do but if you need to have a better look I have done a video on it just recently so I can even put it as a video response. I've already primed my eye with my eye primer which will be available soon. I haven't got details of it yet but I will do soon I promise. And I'm just gathering nice amount of pigment, it's vanilla, it's by MAC and we're just going to gently highlight the brow bone before we start. Keep sending your requests. If you go, if there's a certain look that you want, which isn't in a video, or please send the link or the picture link, because it's really hard for us to keep going through them all and trying to find them all, because it's there's lots and lots and lots of emails I get. So if you could help us out, I would really appreciate it, just by sending the picture link so I can have a look quickly, and then got more chance of getting it done quicker as well. Once you put your vanilla on, it's very, very light. We're going to put this all over eyelid and it's again by MAC and I'm sorry I'm using a lot of MAC, it's just I've been looking through everything for colour and I can't find the right colour. So copperized pigment, just take a shadow brush and you just want to pat it all over eyelid. I want to zoom you in but last time I did that it went completely blurry. I'm going to try my best. So we're just patting it onto the eyelid. I hate it when your nose whistles. It drives me mad. It's horrible. And I hate listening to when people's nose is whistling. We're just patting the copperized. Why I thought Coco Motion. That might have been better, but I don't know if I've got it. Hmm. I've got quite a bit, but not what you would think. It was all the greens and oh that's another thing. Next up is a green smoky because we haven't done one for so long. So just typical green smoky followed by more looks. Possibly a pink one. I've been looking, trying to catch a video clip of it. It's really hard. So and the Lady Gaga look yesterday. Yes I know mine was the wrong way around. If you look in the description box you'll see I'd already realised that. But my laptop died on us before I could refresh the page and remember what it looked like so Mm, I don't know. So you've got your co you've got your copperized all of your eyelid like that, and you just blend it up into your vanilla pigment. Just keep going in a swirly motion, like that. Maybe a bit higher. Maybe not so much white at the outer corner. And then I'm going to take <coughs> a little bit of the lemony colour and it's by Stila and I have to find the, pick, the name for you because it's underneath and it's hard to pick out if I use scissors and I practically stab myself doing it so I will do my best and I'll find the name for you. It might be actually go lightly or sparkle. <clears throat> I think it's sparkle but I'll find out and I'll put that at the, up at the end in the description box like I usually do. Ooh. Ooh. That's that blush I just broken. Now same brush again because we're going in a darker phase Take your big pro palette if you have one. It can be found on eBay, everyone asks. eBay, eBay, eBay. Go on, type 120 pro palette and you'll get loads and loads of listens. But always check sellers feedback and make sure you're safe. This grey here, we're going to be using that. Oh, I hate the nose whistling. It's horrible, it's driving me nuts. So you've got it on your brush and just gently, from the outer corner, Brush it and bring it along. Go and then keep swirling it back and forwards. Ooh! Whistle, whistle. Let's do my head in. Now, 
once you've done that we're going to put a bit more copperized over the top because it's come off again so just getting a bit of that on just to add the sparkle seems to have gone a little bit and now quickly before we get run out of time take a copperized and a liner brush dip it in gently you can apply this damp or dry so all, totally up to you and just line the lower lash line <sighs> I don't know I thought I would treat you by leaving the pug out of the room so there's no snoring but that end, that end up sitting here whistling out my nose then and making irritating noises so can it win, can we? We're adding a little bit more of the yellow out of the Stella palette along the top just to give it that extra gold look. Now for the fun part, the liner. Which I wish I could put on with my left hand but mm -mm, that'll not work. Got a bit of dust in my eye. Mm, lovely, very sore. I'm just going to line, put your little finger on your cheek. It really helps balance and then we're going to apply from the inner corner out a bit more because it's starting to pick the eyeshadow up and go dry And you don't want much of a tick, just a little one for this look. This is going to go back over where we've missed a little bit. Right close to the lash line so you're not leaving a gap. And that's it. I'm not going far out today, not with that. Get the bottom on, and I'm just using this again. Any black liner will do. And we're putting it on the waterline, which is the wet part of the eye. So just to slap it on. You're going to go right into the inner corner. And then on the outer corner, bring it down onto the skin a little and thicken it out. Makes the eyes change shape into a better shape. Especially if you've got short, small almond eyes, it gives it a bit of a shape, which is really good. Quickly put the mascara on. And then I'm going to do a bit of blush. So I'm just doing my mascara. Tip your head back and give your lashes a nice tickle with the wand from root to tip. I laugh when I say that now because I feel like I say it in every single video but really I can't stress enough by tipping the head back you're not going to catch the skin as much as you would if you'd done that and if you ruin your makeup that you've just put on there is nothing worse it's such a bummer so this really does help if you want you can leave that to dry and then you can go back and you can do your second coat. I usually do. I usually have a second coat. This isn't looking right. The video looks a bit strange. But never mind. Now where have I put it? There it is. We're using Boots Peach Skin Illuminator number seven. And there should be a little bit in here. But I bet there's not. So just dab until it comes out and if you can see the highlight there really lovely for the cheek oh there it is it's absolutely beautiful just a highlight on the top of the cheek and then this is mineralized blush love rock and it's only a sample I got it when I was at the Guardian to do the looks and it is quite nice it's by MAC and I'm just going to use a little kabuki brush, dab any excess off and I'm just going to gently kind of push it back into the hairline underneath your highlight on her video she's got beautifully highlighted cheekbones I don't have that nice of a cheekbone so you have to pretend and you have to make them so it's handy having blush because they really help you give that illusion now for the lip colour 
This I haven't used for absolute ages and I had to go hunt it down in one of the boxes at the back. So, it's by Steeler and it's a Cherry Crush Lip and Cheek Stain. You can stick them on you, they do stain by the way, they don't come off for quite a while. But we're just going to use because it's got quite like very glossy juicy lips with like a red touch strawberry through it. So, hope this works. Hey, I tell you what, today I don't usually talk to myself in the mirror. You know how they do on these programs where they tell you to look in the mirror and tell you yourself how gorgeous you are and all that to give you more confidence? I don't usually do all that. But I did today, not saying how nice I was, but I kind of looked in the mirror and thought, blimey, what the hell have you done to yourself? Because I just don't know what it is, but I can't stop eating. And I didn't. I know I've come off the tablets for the polycystic, but that's still no excuse. I took myself off them, the metformin, because... I'd heard really bad things about it. And somebody, quite a few people actually, emailed us to tell us to go back to the doctor and ask for something else. So I did do that. I didn't do any, I didn't take any more. Um, and it's making us just eat like I used to, like a pig. And there's just no need for it. Wouldn't you think if you were hungry, the body would eat what's there? No, it doesn't. It makes you want more. And I'm just getting to the point where I'm absolutely fed up with it. I don't know what to do. It's not like having a normal body. I know what a normal body's like when you want to eat normal. This is like it's something you're feeding for three or four. It's ridiculous. I know it's winter, but blimey. Hey, I don't know. So we're kind of getting us down. I feel really fed up with it all, to be honest. Um, but the show must go on, mustn't it? So you've got to keep getting up and just being happy with what you are. And I try, but I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not a happy bigger person. I would like to be a bit more comfortable. It's mostly so I can wear nice clothes. It's not nice when you look like a tent in your clothes. I'd cause especially because you've got the I've got like a matron look about us now with putting the weight on. And I would like to be able to wear like nice clothing. You know? So I think that's why it gets me down more than the getting in the way because I don't usually feel it really. You feel quite comfy. The dog's like lying on you because you're one big giant pillow so nobody else cares but you. But anyway, I'm going to stop mourning now. I'm alive and that's all that matters. But I really hope you enjoyed the look. Upcoming next is a nice smoky green. Yes. Zoom zoom.